Hello, welcome to this lecture and here we go with the screw gauge. We are going to find out what is the diameter of the wire as well as the thickness of the given glass plate by using screw gauge. And we are not going to use um, one air calipers or, or meter scale because they are not going to give us very precise value. This one will give us very precise value in terms of millimeter. That's why we are going to make use of this. So now least can calculation here. We can give any number of rotations, number of rotations given to the screw head and it depends like it's your choice. You can give uh, 5 rotations or 2 rotations. This time I'm going to give 2 rotations. Uh, first 0 and 0 of a P scale is coincided. One more thing I can tell you, this the horizontal scale is called a P scale, right? And this one is called head scale or sometimes we call it as a circular scale. Now, when we tight it, the 0 and 0 coincided. Now, I will give two rotations. The one rotation I have given, again, I met 0. One more rotation I have to give, okay, I have met again 0. So, two rotations I have given. So, I have to find out what is the displacement of the screw along the P scale. So, displacement is 1 millimeter, 2 millimeter, 2 millimeters is displacement. Now, pitch is displacement by number of rotations, displacement is 2 millimeter by number of rotations 2. So, 2 by 2 is 1 millimeter, that is actually pitch. So, it does not matter how many rotations you give, pitch is going to be same. That means, for every one rotation, there is 1 millimeter shift along the pitch scale. Now, total number of divisions on the head scale. So, this is head scale. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. So, total you have got 100 divisions. That is what I have written here. Now, to find out the least count, the formula is written pitch by number of divisions on our head scale, 1 millimeter by 100 and 0 0.01 millimeter. And for all the screw gauge, the least count is same because number of divisions on the head scale is 100 for all the screw gauge as well as pitch is same. So, zero error, this is one of the errors, instrumental error we have here when we tight the screw gauge actually I wanted 0 of the head scale to be coincided with the P scale horizontal scale. Unfortunately, when I tight the 0 is quietly you know shifted above for some division. Actually, I wanted the 0 should be like this. It is exactly coincided, but now when I tight it, it is not exactly there. It is quite shifted up. So, now I have to find out how many divisions are there above the P scale. So, now see 0 is here, this is actually P scale. So, this is uh, 5 divisions are there above the P scale. So, the 0 correction is minus 5 because 0 is above. So, if 0 is above the P scale, then 0 correction is minus 5. If 0 is below the P scale, 0 correct, I am sorry, not 0 correction is a 0 error. 0 error is plus 5. Okay, so now if I when I tighten, you know, zero is above for five divisions, so zero error is plus five minus five. So that's what I have to write here, minus five. So zero correction is just reverse of it, and I have to plus write plus five. So once we are found with the zero error, then we have to find out what is PSR, what is HSR, what is corrected HSR, then coming with a formula here, PSR plus HSR into least count and that HSR is actually corrected because we have got some zero error. Now, to find out the diameter of this given wire, what we can do is we have to place this wire between these two and tight it until we hear one crack sound. Okay? Now, we have to refer what is a P scale. So, this is a P scale, horizontal scale. Now, the only first line can be seen, that is a reference line can be seen. I am not going to, I cannot see the second line. Second line is actually invisible. So, now the, the, the screw head is between the 0th line and 1st line. That is why the PSR, PSR is 0, P scale reading is 0. If the second line can be seen, I obviously have to write 1 because there is 1 millimeter shift along the pitch scale. Now, coming to the HSR, head scale division, uh, there is no unit for HSR uh, because it is like a division for me. Now, it is 60, 70, 80, direct reading it is 65. So, that reading I have to write here 65. So, now I can just find out what is corrected HSR. I have got already 0 correction as plus 5 and this 65 plus 0 correction is plus 5 that is 70 and already I have got one more trial. I have did it. I have done it before. So, that is 70 plus the 0 correction is 5 that is 75. 
So I can make use of this formula and find out what is the total reading for the diameter. So that is PSR, PSR is actually 0 plus HSR is just corrected HSR that is 75 into least count 0 0.01 millimeter and again this PSR is millimeter, least count is millimeter, HSR does not have any unit. So, we will get 0 0.75 and this is 0 0.70 all these two values are in terms of millimeter. So, to find out the mean I have to add up these two and take down the uh, divide by 2 I will get some value here it is in terms of millimeter. So, similarly I can find out what is the thickness of the glass plate here it is. Now, I have to place the glass plate between these two and I have to tight it. Now, refer P scale and H scale and write down the value. Now, P scale is actually 1 millimeter because I can see the second line also. So, that is a 1 millimeter shift along the pitch scale. Okay, so, that is actually 1 and the H scale is actually 5. So, you will get corrected HSR as uh, 1, yeah, that is actually 5 plus uh, 5, that is actually 10. So, 1, 5, so 1.10, 1, 0. So, this is actually 1, uh, this is 2 plus 5 is 7, 1.07. So, I have to take down the mean of these two, I can write here in terms of millimeter. So, now just writing the result, I found a diameter in terms of millimeter, I can convert into meter 10 to the power minus 3 meter. So, I can write thickness also in terms of meter. So, thank you for watching this.